have this program here that allows me to take non-certified divers underwater with our sand tiger sharks. You know, they come right in front of your face. The shark tank behind me here has about 2,000 gallons per minute running through the filtration systems. My colleague usually says we're one of the best kept secrets. We really do appreciate all of your applause. getting into the shark tank is more anxiety for most than just doing a regular recreational dive. So you need to be a little more prepared mentally and stay calm. It's a really cool experience. All you're wearing is a wetsuit and some weights and that mask. So the tank is on the cage. It's not too overwhelming for someone who's never tried scuba before, but it's, it's a really awesome experience. This is a very expensive proposition to run. When you're looking at a million dollars a year in utilities, uh, you're looking at a huge expense in food. Uh, our pumps are running 24-7. You know, we're completely dedicated to the animal collection. We work with the aquarium in that they provide this space to us so that we're able to run our program. So these are animals that were actually rescued from basically dying on the beach, and we've been able to nurse them back to health. Then we'll do regular physicals with these animals so that we can determine how they're progressing, just like when you go to a doctor. We need the staff to stay stimulated also, just like we do uh, enrichment programs with a lot of our animals, because otherwise you're just coming in, you're cleaning your tanks, you're feeding your fish, you almost become a janitor. So allowing uh, and setting up the structure to grow the microalgae, to feed the small shrimp, to try and raise larval fish. We've raised a lot of fish here at the aquarium that have never been raised in captivity before. So that's very rewarding. Some of our animals here at our seal beach are visually impaired. Uh, we have a gray seal who's completely blind and we also have two other harbor seals that are developing cataracts. So to help them out, we try to use our verbal signal first and then use the visual so that they'll learn to rely on that verbal signal. Something that's very simple, like maybe just moving their flipper in what we know as a little wave motion, um, can take maybe just a couple of days for them to learn. Where something more complex, like balancing a ball on their nose, um, that can take a couple of years. So our female does that in some of the shows and it took me um, several years to be able to get her to balance it in one place and to hold it for kind of a duration of time. To go into the shark tunnel and just sit down there for a few minutes if I'm a little bit tired, say one morning, and then hear those school kids come in and just scream and squeal with excitement. But they're doing that because of what we did and built. Just creating these memories is just uh, very, very rewarding.